Hello, my loves. Mwah. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. This is going to be another pick a card reading for you. This is going to be what is the future of this connection, okay? So this could be for someone that you are in contact with, but most likely it's going to be for people who have minimal or no contact, okay? Just to kind of get an idea of where this relationship is headed pretty much, okay? All right. So for those of you who are new to my channel, mwah, thank you so much for joining me. Get comfortable and I hope you find a pile that resonates with you. I am a psychic medium. I do read tarot intuitively. I start with the channeled message and then I move on to the description of the cards. I am clairvoyant. I am clairaudient. I am a medium. I do offer mediumship based readings. All that information is below. Um, Go ahead and check out my Instagram, you guys, for testimonials, reviews. I do pick a card readings on there. Um, I have a bunch of cool stuff on there if you want to take a look. I do have a giveaway currently on my Instagram, so check me out. Also, if you would like to donate to my channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, if you are going to donate, please take a look at my tarot wish list so I can get more decks for pick a cards. One of the reasons why I've been doing a lot of pick a cards is because you guys have been so awesome with sending me decks, so thank you so much. Um, I wanna give people a shout out here, uh, specifically Nina, thank you so much for your gift, my love, your gifts, I should say. You are amazing, you are a gem, Mwah. Please comment below, let me know, Nina, um, who you are, just so I can get a visual of you. Um, I just want to say I appreciate you and I hope you've been enjoying these pick a card readings for all my other clients who have sent me a deck. I appreciate you. It really helps me keep the energy fresh and it shows that appreciation. Okay, so don't forget to take out take a look at my um, my tarot list. Okay, also. Um, for those of you who are returning to my channel, I just want to give you a big thank you for always being so sweet, so amazing. Um, it's an honor to be here with you guys. If you haven't checked out my What Needs Healing, check that out. It's a great shadow work reading. Pick a card. Uh, and I do offer mediumship-based readings. You guys, just take a look at the, the list at the bottom. In the description box, I'm going to have all my timestamps below. Also, if you have emailed me to book a personal reading and I have not responded, give me some time. That just means I'm booked, you guys. I do have a full-time job. I work with kids um, as a case manager counselor. So, you know, sometimes that work gets really heavy. There's a lot of trauma involved. So I, I won't always be able to, you know, get to your readings right away. But give me a few days in between and I'm gonna, you know, I'll make sure to email you back. And yeah, do I have anything else? I think that's about it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. You guys, I really wanna get my views up. Um, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know my videos are up, okay? All right, awesome. Let's go ahead and get started um, with the deck choice. I'm gonna try to get a stamp here for the deck choices. So again, Laura, thank you so much. Crystal Visions, this is gonna be pile one. Okay, pile one, universal weight tarot, pile two, and then the modern witch tarot, pile three. So you guys, I want to start doing a lot more twin flame and soulmate videos. So I do need specific decks for that, divine feminine and divine masculine. So I do have those posted on my Amazon wish list. okay? So I can bring more diversity into the channel when I do these higher ascension readings. So one, crystal vision, the purple box. Two, the blue box. Three, the white box, okay? Think of your person, take a deep breath, and then let's go ahead. If you need more time, please pause the video, you guys, okay? So let's see, the future of this connection. Pile one, what is the future of this connection here? Okay, I'm hearing hidden agenda. This pile already, there, is, there are some secrets that need to come into the light, okay? It doesn't have to be bad. It's just, I am getting also a vision of the elephant totem here, the animal totem. There are secrets that need to be exposed. Your connection, there is a level of endurance here. You guys have 
been off and on or you guys energetically have been connected there's a loyalty like an unsaid loyalty to each other but i also feel like you guys need to be very honest with each other your person is hiding something here because i'm hearing a hidden agenda okay so what's going on in this connection right now there's been a lot of escaping this connection when things are not what they want them to be they don't know how to confront their emotions sometimes is what I'm getting. I feel like you guys have been um, creating a safe space for this person to communicate, but due to their upbringing, due to their own shadow work, they run when things get hard. This person likes to escape, okay? So what's going on in this connection? Someone here has a black cat or a cat. Yeah, exactly. What did I say? There's a level of deception that needs to, to come out. Like there is a truth that needs to be spoken. It could even be that this person really loves you and they haven't told you yet. Or it's like emotions make this person really hostile. Like it makes them really upset. There is the color blue. Your person likes the color blue or they used to be in a gang for some of you. Uh, maybe they were a crip or, you know, they were about that life. Um, I'm hearing Los Angeles. Maybe they grew up in Los Angeles. What's going on in this connection? Your person is definitely uh, street smart. I will say that. They've definitely lived a very fast life, okay? So, <clears throat> let's take a look. I'm also hearing Orlando, Florida, so that may resonate for some of you guys, okay? I feel like your person has definitely been a, a gypsy. Like, they have an energy of a gypsy, of traveling. They've moved around a lot all their life. This person's life has never been stable. So they have adapted to a very nomadic kind of life. Like, they travel a lot. They're always on the go. They're very, you know, hippie-ish. Like, they don't care about sleeping on someone's couch. They'll do what they need to do to travel, to enjoy their life, okay? They're very free-spirited, Sagittarius energy coming through, um, Gemini energy coming through, Pisces energy or Aquarius energy, or maybe they're a cusp. So your person has definitely, the, the hidden agenda thing, I feel like there's been a lot of uncertainty. I'm hearing like a wild card. Like your person is like a wild card. You never know what you're going to get with this person. I feel like they always shock you or they love shocking people with their um, their behaviors. Like they like to come in and surprise, okay? I'm hearing that maybe you guys have been in no contact for two weeks or two months. If you have been in, in um, contact or minimal, this person may be shifting in and out, okay? Because I'm having a vision of their energy moving in and out of your life. This person um, has a deep wound surrounding the masculine. So the father energy, I feel like their father recently passed away. And they had a lot of, I'm hearing, unresolved issues with the father. Unresolved trauma. Um, a lot of escapism because of this. Their father may have had issues with alcohol. Uh, there's a lot of unsaid things, I feel, in this connection that they're going through. But they're lacking the trust and faith in this connection right now. Even though they know that this is true love for them. They love you. Like, they know. For them, this is true love. They know. I'm hearing a disengagement. So my viewers, I feel like you guys are Leo, Sag, Aries, Libra, Aquarius. Scorpio. This disconnection was devastating for some of you if you have been disconnected. This this disconnection has been devastating because you can feel the love with this person. You can feel the deep, deep connection you have with this person. And I feel like the way they kind of disconnected from you was ugly. Like they just, 
it was almost like nothing. They, they just didn't, they didn't give you anything. They didn't give you a goodbye. They didn't give you a reason. They didn't give you a, like some conclusion, right? They just kind of up and disconnected. And a big part of that is really painful because it's triggering a lot of my viewers. It's triggering your abandonment issues that you have. This person I'm hearing is a mirror to you. So they have been triggering a lot of the, the parts of yourself that you haven't healed and you haven't dealt with. Okay. So let's see how are they, um, how are they feeling about you, pal one? They're not happy without you. Like, they really miss you. But I feel like they're trying to really focus on getting their shit together. This person had a really hard life. They had a really hard life, you guys. Um, this person may have been in and out of jail. Or they definitely have a background of getting in trouble, for sure, since they were children. This person had a really tough life. Um, they've been in survival mode, so when you're in, you know, a dysfunctional root chakra energy, and when you're blocked in your root chakra, there's a, I just saw one, one, one. So this may be your twin flame, okay? Um, this is definitely an energy where your person with the one, 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 and then the two of swords, definitely a twin flame connection. You guys are mirroring, as I said intuitively, you guys are mirroring what is happening within you. So even my pile one viewers. You guys may have similar backgrounds as well where you guys had really rough childhoods. You're mirroring a lot of maybe um, getting in trouble or maybe not necessarily getting in trouble with the law, but just like, you know, maybe like getting in trouble in general with like your parents or school or being rebellious, you know. So they remind you of, of a lot of that time in your life okay so where is this connection going so right now they are feeling blocked off from you they don't really they need to make a decision about this connection they've been very stagnant about this because they're fearful of making the wrong the wrong decision with you um, they know they love you they know they feel very powerful about you but there is something inside of them that makes them fearful because they see your purity. They know that you are very pure and they're afraid of hurting you. I feel like that's what this whole deception in reverse is all about. And then also with the devil in reverse, they are afraid of hurting you. They're afraid of hurting themselves. So there's been a lot of just like they want to kind of keep a distance because of that. Okay. So where is this connection going? This person is also very focused on their money right now. They're trying to get their life together because a big portion of their life has been about, you know, um, survival. They never had much. Okay. You guys as twin flames, you guys may be mirroring this uh, deficit or a lack of poverty consciousness instead of seeing that they can be very abundant. There's something about you that triggers a very deep nostalgic feeling of, of their first love, of true love, of gentle love, of pure love. Where is this connection going? Ace the cup. Page of Wands. Your person is very young. Like they're younger than you or there's an age gap here. They definitely have some youthful, um, they, they're not very mature in their expression in love. But where is this connection going? Pile one. Where is this connection going? They want to come out of conflict with you, okay? So this person knows. So the hidden agenda is that they feel very guilty about... They feel very guilty about the fact that I feel this person played games with you in the beginning. There is a distance, okay? There's definitely a distance here between you guys. And you see how she's holding up that light. 
I feel like this is your person trying to give you a sign that they're ready to come find you. For some of you, this person wants you to contact them, but if you have already done a lot of the work, I don't recommend being the person to contact them first, okay? If you have not done the work or you have not really reached out, I think this is a good time to really reach out, okay? So I feel like this is headed towards us a new beginning in love, a new expression in love, an awakening of a massive amount of emotion towards you and this connection. It may not be expressed with the Page of Wands in the most mature way, but I feel like this person is going to sing you a song or they're going like this person's into music. Like they're really creatively inclined as well. Um, they're definitely someone who's always on the go. They um, definitely don't like to be bound by, you know, society's rules and expectations. They're very creative. They're very different. This person's going to write you a letter or they're going to write you a song and they're going to rap it to you. They're going to sing it to you, whatever they do. I don't know what their style is. Um, they're going to beatbox it. Who knows? <laughs> you know your person. So that's what I see for that. And then the Six of Cups here, I feel like, again, this is a soulmate energy, but I feel more so this is a twin flame connection. So this is about your divinity and your connection, okay? Like not forgetting where you guys like come from and really enjoying the fact that you guys will move into a new space, a new cycle. This is a new cycle in love for both of you. Um, so I'm almost getting, there's going to, again, with this energy, it feels very youthful. So the way they're going to come back in and express their love is going to be really like like high school, like puppy love again, like songs, like roses, like little things. Like there's going to be an exchange of tenderness here, okay? Um, so the future, I do feel there's going to be an ending of a cycle here, okay? There is going to be an ending of a cycle. Something needs to end in this connection in order to start a new cycle. So I feel both of you are almost going to be at a point where you're going to let go of the pain and you're just going to let the past move into the past so you can come out of conflict with each other, okay? I will say, this person is not someone who sticks around in terms of just being a stable partner. Your person is always on the go. This is an, a very youthful and active person. They want to explore. They're working on their finances, so they're trying to get their life purpose. Don't expect them to come back in and then all of a sudden marry you, okay? Because this is not, like, that's not who, you know, that's not who they are. So, with that being said, um, you will, so the future in this connection, you will hear from them again. And you guys will make a connection. I feel like they're going to apologize. They're going to come out of conflict with you. Um... I feel like you guys are going to have a beautiful, like, romantic exchange, but this person is also going to move away shortly after because, because, they are not ready for the long term right now, okay? Like, yes, they're ready to awaken a new chapter with you. Like, they want a new start with you, but they're not ready for something super serious. They're still guarding their heart despite knowing your true love. So where is this headed? Pile one. So again, this person, okay. This person is going to come back and they're going to come back and, and show you love. They're going to show you love. You guys are going to have an exchange. There's going to be an exchange here. The future of this connection, pile one. There is going to be, um, you know, an engagement for sure. But your person is not going to commit to you. Okay, this is not going to be a commitment. Get a personal reading. Don't get triggered if you need to really know about your situation. This person in particular is too bound by their own fear right now to make a commitment to you. So don't expect a new commitment. But they will come back in and they're going to offer a very short momentary um, connection of expression of love through music, through flirtation. It's going to be very sweet, very small, but it's going to be sweet. 
this person is not ready though. They're not ready for what you're ready for. So this connection may need to end, okay? Um, I feel like it's something that definitely, um, both of you are nostalgic about it. And I feel like I'm hearing one more time. It's gonna be a one more time and then they're, they're gonna be gone. They need to heal, you guys, okay? Um, your person is going through a lot right now and I feel like they need to heal. And, and you are a representation of an awakening for them that they're not ready for yet. They're not ready for the serious connection that you are offering and that they know you deserve. So I feel like they're they're choosing to step away from this right now, okay? So the future is the divine feminine is moving in a new direction. Um, and this is gonna be a beautiful like situation to look back at. And I definitely feel like both of you guys are working through your inner child. With that being said, with this being a twin flame connection, you know how it goes, the runner chaser. So just because it ends now, it doesn't mean that it's going to be forever. With that 10 of swords, it's about new cycles. 10 of swords are the completion of a cycle, but you guys are going to reconnect at some point if this is truly your twin, okay? But as of right now, with the new direction, I feel like you guys are working through your inner child issues, so there is a need for this disconnection right now, okay? So that's the future of your connection. Let's move on. Pile, all right, pile two. All right, what's going on in this connection and what is the future? Let's get a channeled message. So I feel like you guys may not be in contact. Um, there is an uncertainty about what's going on here. I feel like your person, the divine masculine in this connection, the masculine has been in a very distorted masculine energy. There is a projection of their wounded feminine onto you, okay, for the divine femme. This person has been projecting a lot of wounded energy towards you. So this connection has been strained by their judgment of you, by their distorted, um, their distorted opinion about you and this connection. I feel like they are very fearful of this love with you. And the divine feminine in this connection, I feel, has been a bit... Um, has been a bit of the chaser or the person who has been providing a lot of emotional support, a lot of emotional abundance in this connection. Your divine masculine in this situation, I'll will just say your divine masculine. It, it doesn't have to be your twin flame or your soulmate. It could just be your, your masculine. Um, they are not used to receiving love from the feminine starting from their mother. So they have a lot of hostility about love and emotions. And you have come into their life to help awaken a new chapter, okay? But this is causing a lot of conflict, right? There's a lot of inner conflict because of this. So how are they feeling about you? Or what's going on in this connection for Pal 2? I am seeing an airport, so you guys may travel to see each other or there needs to be travel in order to see each other. There's a lot of differences, as I said, differences in opinion. Look at that, this is my card. A lot of differences in opinion here. There's strong opinions being thrown around and there's a lot of conflict around this because again, my viewers, I don't feel like you're very passive. I feel both of you guys may be very powerful people, like uh, a double sign, like you guys are very uh, fiery. There, You may be a fire sign, this person's a fire sign or water, like a Scorpio and a Scorpio. Um, you guys are very compatible, but but your views, it's like there's a lot of energy surrounding, I'm hearing restriction, like they feel restricted to this connection. They feel like although they think you're absolutely stunning, I'm hearing the butterfly. You guys have an animal totem of a butterfly. There is a level of transformation and metamorphosis in this connection, but they feel like you're so different from them that they're worried about this. This is a long distance relationship for some of you. And I keep hearing the same thing, the distorted masculine as well. Like the distorted, ma like 
there is an issue here with your person needing to dive in gently to clear out any resentment they have with mother, with the feminine. Um, their sacral chakra is blocked completely. They have not been tuning into their emotions. They have blocking this out. Your person is on their way to be a teacher or they are a teacher. Um, their life purpose is to teach. They're very rational and logical. They are not emotional. <laughs> Um, but this is what, what brings them a lot of hostility about this connection is that you know how to tap into that side of them that they don't want to tap into. It upsets them when they feel like they don't have control over their emotions. I'm hearing cycles. What's going on in this connection? You guys have been learning how to love yourself as well. Um, this person feels pressured by what they represent, okay? They feel this person may have been married in the past as well, or they're coming out of a very serious relationship, and they feel pressured to kind of have to conform because of their religion, because of their age difference. There may be children involved here, okay? Definitely a child, or they feel like, or there's a need to work on their inner child, They don't want to let you go, but they also don't know what to do because they can't commit to you right now. So there's been a lot of power struggles between you two. There's a lot of power struggles here between both of you. A lot. Like, there's a lot of tugging. There's a lot of desire. There's a lot of back and forth here between each other. Not knowing. It's like you guys both want each other and you both want the same things. But there's a confusion around trust. I'm hearing February, okay? So I feel things will be a lot better for you guys in February. There's going to be a lot of movement here. I feel like your person is going to travel to see you. Okay, right now, your person is really scared to lose you. I'm getting a lot of anxiety around losing you. They feel like they're going to lose you is what I'm getting. They feel like they're going to lose you, pile two. They're really afraid right now. Yeah, this pile definitely, there's been no contact. Again, I feel like you guys are just not seeing eye to eye. It's like there is an energy here of like maybe losing sight of the purpose. Your person doesn't understand what the purpose of all this means, why they're so attracted to you. It's like they want to rush in, but they're so scared at the same time and they also don't want it. So they want it and then they don't want it. So they're wondering like, what is this? What does this mean? They're so rational and logical. They could be an air sign as well. Air sign dominant here as well, that they, they're trying to make sense of this. They're trying to make sense of what this means. Where is this connection going? This person is going to see you with someone else. And it's that this is what's going to trigger them. I feel, yeah, absolutely. What did I say? This connection, the future is, I don't even feel like it's an ending. I think it's a transformation. This person stopped pursuing you. They almost like ghosted you. This person like almost instantly stopped pursuing you and then there was nothing. The future of this connection with the tower, with the death. I feel like I'm hearing three weeks. In three weeks, this person is going to see you with someone else. And this is going to expire. What is the future of this connection? This is going to inspire a lot of um, passion in them to chase you again, to want you back. This person, unfortunately, they don't, they need to like, they need to chase after what they want. So if you have been giving your love freely without letting them earn it, stop it. This is not the pile for that. Your person is very masculine. Again, I said a fire sign in the beginning with my intuition. Aries, Leo, Sag. Your person is very masculine and they like to work for it. They like to work for you. 
and some of you guys have been giving too much with this love of love yourself like there's been an overabundant amount of love to someone who has not been receptive to it so it turned them off a little bit okay so feminines in this pile don't be afraid to let your masculine work okay um, not all masculines want it easy, especially this person. I feel like they really, they really want to like chase. So what I'm seeing is that there's a disconnection here. They decided to just disconnect from you because of their own fear or feeling like you won't fit into their family or you won't fit into their lifestyle or there's been a lot of judgment about you to some degree. Um, because they don't really know, they don't, they don't really know you like that. And they're worried. This person cares too much about what other people say, what other people think. So there's the future. There's going to be a transformation. I don't want to say an ending, but there's definitely a break in contact. I do feel both of you guys are going to mirror feeling very sad about being disconnected. Okay. But I do see your masculine really looking, really thinking about you. They're transforming their, their sadness into like, wow, like in three weeks, again, some of you guys are going to take on someone new. You're going to be like, okay, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this. So you're going to decide to take on someone new. And in three weeks, I feel like this person, either three days or three weeks, this person is going to come back around and they're going to chase you. the future of this connection for pile two. So I feel like for some of you guys, um, if you guys are in the world of being psychics or tarot readers, or you're very spiritual, okay? Um, I feel like this person did not, they, they don't approve of that. This person does not approve because of their religion. Um, they're, they're against the metaphysical, they're against anything that isn't their tradition. Okay, but I feel like in the future, they're definitely going to be sad about disconnecting from you. They are disconnected from you, but I see this is going to inspire them to come after you, okay? Because a lot of you guys are going to decide to move on to someone else. Some of you guys are going to choose a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or another Aries, Leo, Sag. There's two fire signs here. And once you start dating someone else and you start dating this fire or water, this person is going to come back in with swift movement, okay? And they're going to offer you something. They're going to offer you love. They're going to offer you what they did not offer you before. This person has not expressed love. When they come back in to chase you, they're going to express love. But it's going to take a while. They are going to block your energy in the 5D. They are going to... Um, block this connection to some degree because it's too much. This was too much for them, okay? Although they feel your energy, it was just too much. They had to disconnect. So again, the future of this connection, um, they're going to come back in and you're going to have to make a decision, I guess, between both people. The future of this connection, pile two. I love it. I love it when it just adds up. You know what I mean? I just love it when it adds up. So they are going to come in with an offer of love. Again, it's going to take a little bit, like three weeks. I'm hearing three weeks, okay? For some of you, it may be three days, but I feel three weeks. It's going to be a trigger. To lose you, it's going to trigger them into action. They're trying to block your vibrations, though. They're trying to block you in the 5D because they're trying to understand this a little bit more. Um, just move slow because your masculine is still not in a very healed place, but they don't want to lose you. So they're going to do what they have to do to come back to you and to chase you down. All right. Perfect. So that was pile two. Pile. Let's do pile three. What is the future of this connection? What is the future of this connection? Let me get a channeled message, you guys. Pile three. Okay. 
okay, this person, I'm feeling infidelity. Like there was something about trust that was broken in infidelity. And this person in the future is going to try to make this right. They're going to try to make it right with you. I'm seeing the movies. Maybe you guys used to watch movies together or this person's really big on movies and they're going to ask you out to go watch a movie. This person's name is Jordan or Jason. JC is coming up. Or Jennifer. Someone with a J. I'm also hearing the East Coast, New York. Your person is going to try really hard to get you back. This person, whoever you're inquiring about, they are coming back in full force. Like they are coming back in with a lot of effort. You, your person, they messed up really bad. Your person messed up really bad. I'm hearing there was infidelity or they chose someone else. They really hurt you. They hurt you. The number four is significant here. So four months, four weeks. But I feel like this is a connection that was definitely, um, it started off really strong. Could be twin flame soulmate here with this wedding card. I feel like this person just ugly disconnected from you. And they know they were shady for doing that. They know they were in the wrong for disconnecting the way they did. Okay. This person did not do right by you. I'm hearing you gave them life. You guys may not even realize, but you were in this person's life at a time when they were very um, lost or they were very in a lot of pain. So you guys are healers. You guys are definitely healers. And this person did not, they're, oh wow, they're into like the nightlife. This person is either a rapper, a celebrity. They're, they're out there and the, they're a public figure. And they had a lot of different people at them, a lot of attention, a lot of people. And they were so caught up in their ego and getting a lot of, of attention from, you know, other people that they dismissed this connection as something that wasn't going to last or it was a whatever thing. Even though they felt, I'm hearing you were like home, they were caught up in that lust. You know, this person is unfortunately, they're very tempted by lust. Um, but, you know, it's an evolution thing, right? Like, this person could grow out of it. It's all about learning, healing, and growing out of certain behaviors. So there's always space to grow and to learn, yeah? So I feel like this person definitely took on a lot of lovers and they didn't tell you about it. This person was trying to, like, you know, really um, impress people. They're definitely people who have been out on the scene, okay? This person... Um, there's the color red here, so they may wear a lot of red or they're very passionate about you. They may be a fire sign as well. So this person, you guys were either together or not. Take it how it resonates. I feel like this person took on lovers while they were with you or talking to you. And there was a disregard of your emotion and the loyalty. And when you guys freed yourself from this connection and you guys left this person in the dust or behind, <laughs> they quickly realized that the side pieces did not compare to you. They just didn't compare. They would wake up next to someone, they would wake up next to someone that they thought they wanted and they would just be like, ugh. It wasn't you. I don't feel like this pile, you guys, I don't, I don't necessarily feel like the majority you guys hooked up with this person, which is why they respected you a lot. Okay, they respected you a lot. I feel like you guys really made this person work. And you have not given yourself to this person. And they're used to women or men just kind of giving it up or doing what they, you know, they, they, 
they're used to that fast life and you guys showed them an angelic side of you a very pure side of you and they took advantage of that but they want to resurrect this situation and the thing is again they took on all these lovers they took on all these lovers expecting it to be better expecting to replace you and they couldn't replace you and then they started feeling an enormous amount of guilt about leaving you the way they did what's going on in this connection they're obsessing over you again this person yeah this person has some psychological issues going on so this person might suffer from ptsd they suffer from, um, it could be bipolarism or it could be a sex addiction. Um, I'm hearing excess, excess. Like this person is definitely someone who's who's just indulging a little bit too much in, in the dark side. I'm not talking about occult or magic. They could be into magic. I mean, I don't know. But I feel like... There's a level of psychological trauma that they haven't dealt with. And so this is part of the reason of why they gravitated towards you because you're very empathic and you're a healer and they could feel that and they wanted you to help them subconsciously, but they also were like pushing away from you because you represented healing. And a lot of these, a lot of your people here, they're afraid to heal right now. So they've been taking on a lot of lovers. There's a lot of addiction habits here to try to suppress, to try to go on with life, to try to like deal with what they're, they're going through right now. They feel so regretful about letting you go or allowing you to walk away. Some of you guys may have caught this person red handed in a third party and, and they know and they know, and they know you didn't deserve that, you know? I'm hearing they're trying to um, balance lifestyle. So this person may also have a specific lifestyle that's very, uh, it's not the most stable and not the most healthy, okay? It could be, again, they're, they're struggling. They're trying to fight their own shadow. Um, and, and this is why they loved you. I'm hearing they loved you because you really helped them see parts of themselves that they weren't ready to see in themselves. But they run. This person's a runner. They, they just run, okay? So where is this connection headed, pile three? What's the future? What's the future of this connection, pile three? There's an Usher song coming up. You remind me of a girl by Usher. All their past stuff just, just projected onto you. What is the future of this connection? So this person is definitely stagnant with action, but they see that they want you to be the mother of their children. This person wants to have a child with you. There's also a third party involved that they may already have a child with. So they're trying to kind of um, cleanse and clear their life to bring you back in. They are the ones who are in a lot of pain about losing you. But this person, they have very very strong psychological issues that are blocking them here this person may have recently went to jail that's only for some of you or they were in trouble with the law for some for some here so for them you know bringing someone who has such an angelic energy like you do into their lifestyle they're trying to save you from that, okay? They're trying to save you from that. Um, they're trying to get their life together, all right? They're trying to get their life together. 
I feel like this person as well, they have some sexuality things going on. Like maybe they're curious about the same gender and they don't know how to like express that to you. Or maybe this is something that they do um, and they're trying to kind of come to terms with it or, or they're definitely healing an ex partnership with the mother of their children because this was traumatizing as well, or their child. If they don't have a child, they're healing psychological issues that they went through with their mother. This person went through a lot. Okay. This, this person has gone through a lot, but okay. But what I love is the fact that this person loves you enough not to pull you into their storm. They detached, not because they didn't love you. They detached because they loved you enough that they didn't want to bring you into all that negativity. They're trying to save you from themselves. Okay. Um, and I only say that for those of you who are like, oh, don't be so nice. Listen, the devil is not a positive energy in some cases. This is very low frequency, low vibrational behavior paired up with the moon card. This is some serious addiction to sex, to habits, to drugs, something hurting. I don't know. You know, it could be a variety of, of things. So this person is trying to save you from bringing you into this drama. So in the future, the page of swords in reverse, I feel like this person they need a lot of time okay this person is not there they're nowhere near being able to give you anything that you need right now because they for a lot <laughs> some of you this person is into criminal activity and they're gonna face some justice for that okay that's only for some for others they can't give anything to you right now because they can't give to themselves there's a need to heal some of them have health issues right now um, again depression is coming up strong i just heard depression okay um, there's a lot of healing surrounding the mother archetype or the mother of their children or child healing a marriage that didn't work out okay so in the future, there's a the potential to collaborate, but this person is trying to let go of responsibility. They don't want to be responsible for your feelings because they don't want to hurt you. They're doing this well-intentioned, okay? They respect you, pile three, enough to let you go. So the future of this is that they're going to disconnect for a while. They're going to disconnect for a while. They need to deal with whatever issues they're experiencing right now in their life. This is very personal. This has nothing to do with you. Okay, um, they're having to face, they're going to have to face some, some issues here. I don't know why I'm picking up law, but I'm picking up law. Like, there's a lot of stuff that's going to come down on them, and they're trying to save you from it, okay? So in the future, I don't feel like this person is really going to, you know, come back. <sighs> let, me, let me see. I feel like with that death card in reverse, they're going to want to hold on to you. They want to hold on to you, but it feels like more energetic holding than physical. What is this wedding card? Pile three. Let me just confirm. Yeah, again, for some of you, they put you in a third party, whether you know it or not. With this wedding card here, with the two of pentacles, they're trying to balance a situation that's about to kind of pop off on them. Yeah, there's the truth coming out about the other woman. The Queen of Wands in reverse for me is the other woman. Okay, so there's the truth coming out that there's been a lot of juggling happening between you guys. Uh, maybe their party found out and there's drama around that with the passion card. Let me see. I feel like they're just going through a lot. Like, mm -mm. this person has been connecting with you in the 5D, okay? They've definitely been connecting with you spiritually. They have a spiritual connection with you. So energetically, pile three, you feel this person. I don't know why I'm getting that they put you, unfortunately, it's like they're trying to move you away from this drama. They do have, for some of you, they have a third party. For others, they're trying to release this person and there's a child involved in custody. Pile three, where is this headed in the future? Yeah, see, that's why I said they're disconnecting this person. It's a no. That's what I said before closing this reading out. The future of this connection. Yeah, so. 
So listen, this person, they may have been cheating on their third party, okay? Um, there was a third party situation here for some of you. They may have stepped out and they have a devotion to their partner until they clear this. This person, oh, this got messy. This person is learning harsh lessons. I said justice, right? Didn't I say that? Here we have the justice card. This person is learning some serious lessons about fairness, about karma. They're, they they cannot avoid this anymore. And I feel like they may have gotten caught flirting with you or something. Or there was a level of, of, of connecting with each other inappropriately. But you guys were just trying to like maybe start a fresh connection. This person wasn't honest with you. For some of you, you didn't even know there was a third party, okay? Now, they're trying to like understand their own behaviors and their mistakes. So in the future, I don't see this right now because it could change. Don't get triggered. It could change. They're regretting their behavior. Like they're regretting stepping out of this situation and they were in a third party. They may have chose someone else or they may have chose to work on it with someone else in the future. And they're going to regret it. Because they have a level of devotion to their person, okay? I don't know. I just feel like that got crazy. So, you know, for you guys, your advice is to take a step back and not chase this person right now. The future is, you know, let's get a, an, an advice for you guys. Because I feel like this just got a little crazy. What is the advice for you about this connection? <laughs> Wow, divine timing. Yeah, you got to give this time. This person needs that. Yeah, the distorted masculine. They're trying to save you from this drama. So this is why they stepped away. Um, free will is at play. What is your advice here? But don't hold yourself in a victim, okay? Um, the divine feminine is being asked to pause and start moving towards your dreams and things are going to shift for you in the springtime. Okay. Mwah. Thank you so much for joining me. Talk soon. Bye.